So every once in a while I'll get a message that's like, I really like your videos, even if I don't always agree with them. And this has always been kind of weird to me that people feel the need to point out that they don't always agree with me because it's very, very likely that you will sometimes disagree with me because you're a different person with different experience and a different knowledge base. I think that people seem to think that admiration and appreciation goes directly hand in hand with agreement, but I don't know if I think it does. For example, recently there have been kind of a lot of scandal going on on the internet and YouTube in general, and I'm not going to get into that, but there was a point where two YouTubers that I like had opposing viewpoints on one of the issues. And according to some people, that means you have to like choose between them because obviously one person is right and one person is wrong and you have to be on the winning team and cast aside your allegiance for the loser but I feel like that's a strange way to look at the world like if you feel like you need to be 100% in agreement with someone in order for them to be worthy of your admiration you're really gonna have a bad time eventually you must realize that it is very very unlikely if not impossible to find another human being that you will agree with 100% of the time that's why I also get a little bit weirded out when people tell me I agree with 100% of everything you say because that just seems so unlikely and even if that is true it's only a matter of time before we find somewhere where we do disagree and I've also had people tell me things like wow dude I usually agree with you but you just said one thing that I disagree with and now I don't like you anymore which is fucking bizarre now I don't know if you know this but the whole point of my YouTube channel is basically to start conversations and my opinions on those topics are just a launching pad for a bigger discussion now I am generally prepared to defend my opinions but I'm not trying to place myself as some kind of authority figure that you must watch and accept my word is gospel. I really don't consider my YouTube channel to be educational or even informative at all. I am literally just a dude trying to start conversations. Some people get really freaked out by disagreements. Like sometimes when I live stream or post on Facebook, there'll be a debate that happens. And no matter how civil the discussion is, there's always at least one person who's like, oh my god, please stop fighting. Let's talk about something else we can all agree on. But conversations aren't interesting if everybody agrees 100% or doesn't have anything else to add to the conversation. But on the flip side, conversations conversations are even less interesting when people are unwilling to thoughtfully and respectfully engage those they disagree with. It's not really about being right or wrong. It's unlikely that any of us are 100% right or wrong. What's more probable is that we all have an idea based on an inherently limited perspective. And the only way that we can broaden that perspective is by having honest, respectful conversations with people with different ideas. I like hearing opposing views when they're thoughtful and I like when people suggest nuances to the ideas that I present because it helps explain my perspective. That's why in my videos I always say, that's just me though. But as always, I want to know what you think. Drop a comment. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you doing? Please press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you like my hair. Holla.